the KP program is the best program for, for such that we are implementing, whereas the government, we are putting in our resources, and then through independent verifiers, then the investments are put in. I think this is one of the most efficient ways in which we can be able to optimize on our resources, in which way the government will be able to make sure that we are properly targeting and upon targeting, then we can be able to work with ourselves as partners to ensure that what we have done meets the expectations of our children. And as we are all also aware, I would want to thank all of us as we are all aware that we are the critical time that we are implementing some of the far hitting reforms. As we already mentioned, the president received the presidential working party report on the 1st of August, and uh, he did direct all of us to make sure that what Kenyan people say when the presidential working party went around the country is implemented. Because that is the voice of the Kenyan people, and we must have to be able to ensure that what we have been told by the Kenyan people to do, then we have to do it. So as we go around and as we do all that we are doing, then we have to check and see the backdrop in the time that we are in, in ensuring that uh, we successfully implement the reforms that are there. On Monday, this week running through the week, next week, we shall be meeting with the, our National Assembly Parliamentary Group to put in perspective the areas that needs their attention, mainly when it comes to legislative and policy issues that may require the representatives of the Kenyan people to engage, then we shall be able to engage with them. But I would want to assure all of us that as we go into this next phase of what this administration wants to do in the education sector, through what Kenyan people told us through the presidential working party, that we shall be able to work together as partners and as our good friends in this particular issue. So already the program is assisting us in a few areas. One is the rollout of CPC, and two is the rollout of the competent best assessment systems. And uh, as we talk about competence assessment systems, this is one area where we would want to liberate the technology, because going forward, we would want to ensure that uh, we go into e-assessments, we are having school-based assessments, we are having other assessments, that we think if we liberate on technology, then it will be easier for us to be able to, have, to appreciate competencies and skills, including knowledge, that our children will acquire as they go through the, the, the system. I am aware also, and we are all aware, that uh, there is a lot of input, and there will be so much resources that will go into infrastructure. We shall require, as we implement the junior school structure, we shall require more than 16,000 classrooms that must be put up before 2025 for use by our children. We require almost 19,000 uh, resource centers that are required for use in integrated science. So we are cautious of the requirements that are there, and therefore, through some of the resources that have been set aside by this particular program, it should be able to assist us. We are also building the capacity of our teachers, mainly the capacity of our leadership in our junior schools. They are going into new areas that they have not been and all of us as a country will not be there to deal with junior schools and therefore we must be able to build the capacity of the leadership of our institutions to be able to adequately appreciate what we are going into and we want to thank this program for having set aside resources for building capacity of our institutional managers to be able to carry out that with the must carry out. Uh, we are also aware that we must be able to produce teachers going into the future who are adequately prepared to handle competence-based education. And therefore, there is also quite a lot of reforms that we are putting into place in our teachers' colleges. And we want to thank this program because we are doing quite a lot of investment, one in building capacity of teacher educators, two is building science systems, including technology and labs that will be able to assist us in ensuring that we liberate the technology. Government, in its own bigger objective, 
He's trying to integrate all external jobs that you can be able to do to labs within our institution, including our Tibet institution. So this would be part of that critical uh, bottom-up economic transformation agenda that as a government, we are making sure that uh, we enforce because these are commitments and promises that we give that this administration gave to our people and we must, be, we must make sure that we are part and parcel of that particular agenda of ensuring that those commitments which were made by the president and made by this administration are uh, implemented and therefore the support that we are getting out of this program will go a long way in making sure this is done. We are also addressing the understanding in our schools and as uh, we are all aware, government has already, through Teacher Service Commission, in the last six months included 56,000 teachers, which has never happened in this country. Within the next two years, we should be able to complete the commitment that we gave to the Kenyan people of employing 120,000 teachers to support our education system as we move forward.